Yeah. Who wouldn't, huh? Yeah. Even many, many aeons pass, many lifetimes pass already. Just one time, kill one baby. Became a heart already, all repentant, remorse, suffer so much already, still had to bear that consequence. Nothing we can escape free. Therefore, really, karma really exists. Yes. Even become our heart. Yeah. Some karma will be destroyed, but some will remain so that you can continue to live on. For example, we make many bad things. We did many sins in many, 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 many uncountable lifetimes. In this lifetime, come back be reborn as human, suffer some, but some are still in store waiting. Okay? Because in one lifetime you cannot suffer much more than like the nun had done. You see, that there, there is a time span for everything. So in one lifetime is short, so you will be allotted how much, how much karma for one lifetime. Then suppose you come back again, then there is a next <laughs> Stored karma will come for you. Without karma, you cannot exist here. You're probably in heaven, okay? Or in hell, somewhere else. A different karma then. Huh? Therefore, the nun, luckily, she came and took refuge in the Buddha and she became our heart. And at the time that the Buddha accepted her and initiated her, he will destroy all the stored karma. Understand? so that she will not be born again to suffer any. Yeah. But even then, the, the fixed karma for this lifetime, she has to bear, even after become a heart already, because that's her fixed karma. Without this karma, she cannot live here. Uh, all of us, same, okay? Yeah. Except the Master, who has to borrow karma from everybody. <laughs> Not borrow, but have to bear everybody else bad karma. Therefore, the master will not suffer any karma because all done, you know? The Buddha already had no more karma. Yeah. But he still had to suffer here and there because of bad karma of disciple. Yeah. All right.